I love it. I mean, USA has been great to me over the years, the whole NBC Universal family. I mean, I mean even, even if I go back to West Wing, which is on NBC, I've had a, a love fest with the family, and thankfully they've, they've had a love fest with me. I love uh, I love working on Psych, and I'm having a great time working on Psych. I really am really enjoying flipping it and doing something different. So I'm, uh, I'm thankful. Anytime you get a chance to keep on doing what you love to do is uh, to work with them. We just get your stock in the company at this point. Stock in the you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I'm, I think maybe I'll show up on Mr. Robot next. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, yeah, you know, maybe like he has, a, he has another mind inside. They'd be like me. He had, I have the, the brother side of his mind. You know, it'd be Christian Slater and then me. You know, I'd be like, shut up, Christian. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're talking about. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can just show up like maybe like once or twice for like two seconds. You know what I mean? <laughs> will we see the return of Magic Net or the Super Smeller? Uh, I think you will see the return of Gus Smelly. Whether what you know, and a Super Smeller, but he always has a Super Smeller. But he's not gonna have to be any long, long sniffing that he's doing. But he will be taking in the uh, aromatic scents. Of beings or a being. <laughs> How is it working with your fiance? I love this. I love working with Jasmine. I mean, uh, to get a come, to have her come into the psych world and, and in the role that she's playing was was a blast. She really brought her A game. She, I think, the fans are really going to enjoy what she did. She had us cracking up on set. And to be able to share this screen with uh, with someone as talented and as beautiful and as lovely as Jasmine is, uh, it's great. I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, with fact of for Gus, it made the wait worth it. All the years of Gus not having a love interest to so then finally end up with Jasmine playing the character who's a good ass friend for me. Did you guys include any like inside joke from her? Uh, we thought about it. For, for, we thought I don't think it made it to the screen. We thought about it though. We thought about adding one thing, but we didn't. We did. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, that's more of a that's more of a, a Steve Frank's question or a Chris Hensley question. I'd be interested to see like whether they. Well, there's plenty of material that they. Can I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they. I'm sure they have material. Hopefully they do though, because that's a. I mean, that's just a part of what Psych is. So hopefully at the end of the movie they'll show some of our outta outtakes and things like that. Will get to see Gus dance at all? Not on, not in this one. We're not seeing Gus dancing in this one because the thing is, also, I mean, one, it's not in the script, but then two, I tore my Achilles early in the year. So by the time we were filming Psych the movie, I was just getting back to being able to move around. So I couldn't be doing too much crazy jumping around and things like that. What about screaming or crying? Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but I mean, certain things are just a part of who Gus is. You know what I mean? If there's not a screen, there's not Gus. You know what I mean? If there's not a tear being shed, I don't, I don't know if it's Gus. So certain things that you expect from Gus will, will be. He's involved, but he hasn't involved that much. Yeah. Going back to him getting a love interest, how is that going to change the dynamic between Gus and Jane? Well, I think we'll have to wait until uh, Psych the Movie Part do <laughs> to find that answer. Yeah. But I think... Uh, it will, I, th I think it will affect them. I think it will affect them, but I think it will affect them in a way that will be very enjoyable to the fans. I think we'll, we'll, there's a lot of comedy gold to, to mine from that. Because, you know, Gus would be all about his lady, and like, he's, you know, he's in love now. I'm sure that, that uh, Sean would feel a certain, way, a certain way about it. So I think one of the things that fans always love about the show is the names that Sean would give Gus on the show all the time. And I know how much of a big pro wrestling fan you are, so which one of those nicknames do you think would have made the best in-ring name for Gus? Ooh, the best, best in-ring name. I mean, I still think that uh, Silly Pants Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? He like, I mean, Hubert guys come out always like laughing and making you, you know, doing things to make you laugh, and that's when he sticks around and he pins you. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be his whole little trick. It's like, oh, silly pants is at it again. <laughs> are those nicknames written into the script, or are those like ad libs kind of as you? Uh, early on, they were more ad libs, but then 
the more you would do it, the writers would start getting in on it, so they would start adding in their own. So it was, it was kind of a, a little bit of both. Like Silly Pants Jackson, which is one of the first ones that happened, that was just rolled day off the top of his head. Uh, Vernus Lambert Watkins, that was something that we added in. Uh, Lavender Goons was added in. That actually was my great aunt, who was alive at the time, but she's now passed away. Uh, who else? Uh, and then other ones were just different writers with, with admin stuff that would be, that would be fun. And I know that there's some in this movie. I just can't remember what they are. Yeah, I can't remember what they are. But I will tell you by December 2017, I will remember. You know, whenever it does air and I'm watching, like, that was what it was. That's where it is. Are you happy to come back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be able to come back to Comic Con and I've only been to Comic Con with Psych. So to be able to come back now doing Psych the movie. After, I mean, it's been 11 years since we started. We started, we started doing Psych the Series in 2006. But to be in 2017 and have that, this amount of love and engagement all these years later, it's humbling. It's humbling from the fans, uh, from all the media, from, from Comic Con to even won us back at this point. Uh, it makes you appreciate it. It makes you appreciate what you do. Talking about differences between actors and the characters they play, if Gus were a real person, would you be his friend? Would you would you be able to hang with Gus? I think so. I'd be able to hang with Gus, I think. Sometimes, not all the time. You know what I mean? I think because one, I probably would gain too much weight because he likes to eat too much. You know what I mean? And then probably because he hangs so close with Sean and Sean always creates some type of crazy, troubling dynamic, I think at a certain point I'd be like, look, Gus, I mean, we cool and all, but I can't, no. I need a break, because every time I'm hanging with you, that dude, who's that dude's name, Sean, Sean Spencer? Yeah, he shows up, and something breaks, or, you know, either something I own breaks, or something my body breaks, so no. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Is there anything challenging about coming back to the set? Uh, not really. Not really. I can't, you know, it was like an old hat. Once we, once we got back to, up to Vancouver and we had the crew, it was weird what we were saying. Once we started filming, it felt like no time had passed. They, sometimes they can remind yourself, like, oh no, we actually took three and a half years off. This is not just, okay, we had a two week hiatus and so now we're back at it. It's like, no, we took some time off. From the time we shot the first scene, it was, we were off to the races. And my first scene actually was with Jasmine, Jasmine Simon, so I mean, like, uh, Rodé tries to say that I really came back on my A game because I wanted to impress Jasmine. So it was like, you know, hey Jazz, you know, hey baby, this is this is how we do it at Psych. You know, welcome to the Psych world. You know what I mean? So it was, I was, I was, I was in it. We sang Happy Birthday before we started filming, because that's like a thing that we did at Psych. We sang Happy Birthday. There were some jokes that we had off camera between the crew. Those things happened right away, and we were off to the races.